Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face. Today we're going to be running the Assault mission in the Paladin. I'm still using those Asclepian implants that really help with my armor repair rate and it's going to make everything so much smoother. Mainly in the burners, but it's going to make it definitely a lot smoother. Also when it comes to normal missions, just maybe it's not as noticeable because Paladins are already just so damn tanky. Okay. Not like you need any more tank anyway. <laughs> Okay, so with this assault mission, is a mission that includes a lot of having to destroy a lot of uh, NPCs. Actually, it's a mission that does not do, go super fast, but also is not particularly slow either. Um, there's like um, you can kind of say that it's a bit different in the last wave, I think it is. But then you, and then I think you only have to destroy a certain type of NPC. Otherwise, I think that in the first few uh, rooms, then you actually have to just kill everything. Actually, now, why can't I move my ship? There we go. Good, good. Let's warp away and go into the dead space side. Okay, there we go. So I think you can just straight away warp here to the next pocket, actually. I was mixing this up with another mission. There we go. I think you can... Yeah, there we go. Look, I can just warp straight away. It's a pretty simple mission in this regard. Oh, why is that paladin warping away? I thought we locked the gate. No, you guys didn't lock it. <laughs> Usually it's a case in these missions where the NPCs, they are locking or scrambling the gate with some kind of like, you know, scrambling thing. I don't know what it is, it's just law wise, but it's some kind of, some kind of scrambling thing makes it so that you can't uh, use it. But um, for some reason, the Serpentis Corporation decided to not do that in this case. Uh, you can go here and just maybe lock up these guys. These guys are going to try to get... Ah, oh, we warp disrupted. That's really annoying. Because this means that they're going to not allow us to get away. Actually, what I can do is... Look, look I know this is a bit unnecessary. Well, we're going to do like this. Okay, we just... MJD? Because these stupid frigates are going to... Uh, never, basically. It's going to take so forever. With... Uh, these uh, when they're this close with our large gun is going to take forever so we're just going to do like this instead <laughs> get a uh, pull range and then just snipe them like this you're going to go very smooth look at this look how fast they die then like as if it's nothing and we just there's all it was just one cycle you know nothing more than that yeah there we go <laughs> it's so easy and we can may i guess may as well well nah they're too far away i was thinking may as well while we're at it we could also attack the other the other ships over here so it's a little bit of time until my mjd uh, recycles or ends a uh, recharge cycle i wish i was a little bit longer but you know i think skills actually can uh, make it travel a bit faster i've not got the best mjd skills actually there we go activate this and now we get back to where we left off where those stupid measly frigates decide to warp disrupt me and not allow me to go to the next room they're so Damn frigates, they're so annoying. Okay, there we go. Now we're here. Activate this and go go back. It's very nice how, you know, the MJD is very precise. Exactly 100 kilometers. So I went there and then I came back to almost exactly where it was before. It was like no, no complications at all. Not like warping where you can like plus minus two kilometers, you know. It can be quite big, actually. The variation in warping. Let's go to the next room. See what we get here. I can't, it's a long time since I ran this mission, so I can't remember exactly how, yeah, okay. So I think I just have to kill everything here. Some people say that you have to kill this group on the left, but I've tried doing that and I've not completed the mission. So I don't know, maybe I was killing the wrong NPCs or something. I'm not 100% sure, but we're gonna, let's see now. We can actually probably MJD, since they're about 100 kilometers away, we can actually probably do that. Let's just MJD. Can lock up these frigates in the meantime, actually, because they are going to want to get under my guns. Stop lagging, please. There we go. There we go. Let's just snipe these guys, then we'll MJD shortly after. Oh, we can't. Hmm. No, we can now. Why is it missing? Stop missing. He's maybe already got two good transversal, even though it's 50 kilometers away. Ah, there we go. Got a hit there. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. There we go. Okay. Now we're MJD. And we get there and bastion up and just beat the crap out of these uh, NPCs. <laughs> How much DPS do I actually have with uh, with Ultraviolet? Or well, not Ultraviolet, Scorch, 1.7k DPS. Okay, it's alright DPS, not amazing, but it's alright. Okay, we'll go with Conflag now. And lock up everything, and we'll 
put some rain scripts and stuff is not too close here. Okay, let's see. Now. This guy is pretty close. Oh, this easy, easy peasy, easy peasy. Corn flag is also good because for this particular wave, it does a lot of thermal damage. You see there, um, a lot of like Amar based weapons do mostly EM damage and a little bit of thermal damage, but here we're doing. Um, a lot like equal amounts of thermal damage and that's quite favorable when you're going up against the Serpentis because they've got like a little bit lower one of the lowest resistances are the thermal resistance the lowest one obviously is kinetic but the second lowest one is thermal so it's actually good not only does the conflict do more TPS but it's also you know good from a resistance perspective as well and these guys are going to die so much quicker because they're in closer range you know our optimal is 30 kilometers then we've got that fall off as well so within that fall off if they're just close to me I'm just gonna need more dps i'm gonna spit the spit the pulse lasers here because these battle cruisers just die so fast actually gonna even this guy is getting really close actually what does he, what does he think he's gonna do <laughs> okay there we go this guy like what does he think he's gonna do he's going oh i better get to his face no <laughs> he died <laughs> okay this uh, cruiser over here, on the other hand, looks like he wants to actually do a little bit of a kitey stuff as well. Hmm. He's actually orbiting, it looks like. Never mind. He, he, what did that orbiting do? He did not do anything to you, little scrub. <laughs> Let's look at my ship. There we go. Look at my glorious paladin. That's just here to wreck some serpentis days. I can actually lock up this bar cruiser over here. We didn't do that. Hmm. Can uh, split this one here and just put it on this. It's like basically two ships we've got. You know, one here, 1.2k DPS, 1.23k DPS almost actually. And we can stop the. No need to have the Bastion cycle there. There we go. Good, good. Very good timing as well. Warp to location and dock up here and redeem our mission. But we're essentially two battleships in one with the Marauder. And that's quite funny because the Marauders, they actually have a lower amount of turrets compared to normal uh, battleships. I guess the optimal amount of turrets for a battleship with the max amount of turrets would be eight. But the Marauders, they have four. But they do double the DPS that they would normally do. You can see here, 100% bonus to large energy turret damage. So it doubles the amount of damage. So essentially, we've got eight, but in four. You can see here, four. Then plus, we've got the Bastion module, which makes them double the amount even more. So it's just crazy how powerful these four little turrets here compared to how they would usually be. Essentially, they're four times as powerful as normal turrets would be. Okay, Docking let's talk up here. Requested. Docking request denied. Docking request denied. Uh, stupid Aurora Docking doesn't want me to dock requested. here. Police, they don't like Bastion, recently Bastion marauders to get in. They're too dangerous. Probably worried that I'll Bastion up in the station. I wouldn't know what would happen if I did that. <laughs> Probably they're afraid that marauder would go crazy in there and just blast everything up from Docking the inside. Okay. Star Wars Episode 1 kind of style. <laughs> okay, let's dock up here. And complete the mission, and I want to get now burner. Please give me burner, please. Not one that's 10 kilometers, uh, 50,000 kilometers away. Okay, yes, good, good, good. Dahli is good. Dahli is good. That's quite, quite close. Okay, good. Now, let's grab my steroid Nurgle. Steroid Nurgle has been taking, he's been juicing up quite a bit, actually. Serpentis. Serpentis, fit the fit. Good, good, good. And let me undock. It's going to be so easy with the, the Serpentis. What is he going to think? You think, oh, there's a Nurgle there. Uh, and then not only is the Nurgle already strong, but then he's just coming here with the Asclepian implants as well. Going to rep like crazy, like as if it's nothing. <laughs> a Serpentis wouldn't even know what hit them. Okay, let's go to the Serpentis burner. A very simple mission. All I have to do is just like really shoot it and run it down. As people say in the game League of Legends, just run them down. <laughs> the, the, I've heard the mission can have like, you know, Serpentis, they are really, they know of having a lot of DPS. So you can have some tank issues here, but I think that the, the my Nurgle will have no problems because since the Esclepian implants are going to make me just have so good, so damn good. Uh, Armor repair rate, it should be no issue. Let's do that. Okay, and we'll just approach here. I'm using this Baryon ammo right here because this guy is going to try to get away like a little scrub. Actually, he's really close. Hmm, maybe it would have even been good to use Occult. Now you see he's pulling away now. He's pulling away. You see that little scrub right there. You see, my Nurgle just really does not care. 
Asclepians just make everything so easier, like AFK friendly almost. You know, you never want to go AFK really in this stuff. But what I'm saying is, it's a, it's a, it's a very a lot more relaxing, and that's something that I like. For me, the whole point of missions is that it's relaxing. It's maybe not the extremely most amount of isk per hour, but it's sort of relaxing. Unlike the abyss, which is not supposed to be relaxing in my opinion, but you earn lots of dank isk. T6 abyss, amazing isk. Uh, but not as relaxing. The but missions, now the burners then they gave a lot of isk as well, but they weren't so relaxing. But now with the Asclepian impasse, it seems like this is going to be a very relaxing experience. Really does not care at all. Look at that. Just armor repairing right up. Just really does not care at all. I could even use my drones, speed stuff up, but it doesn't even really care actually. Just I don't even need to do that. I, I just f forgot about that because you know, Asclepian implants on this steroid nuggle, it just pushes straight through. Just push it straight through. I really does not care at all. Okay, recall the drones. We scoop the loot. Potential for faction drop, guys. There's always a potential for faction drop. Or at least I think there's always a potential for every single burner. There's a potential for faction drop. I think that uh, I'm pretty sure that certain burner types they have. Oh, wait, we need to activate a track team. <laughs> certain burner types they have like a higher likelihood to have faction drops than others. But. I'm not sure if every single one has a chance. I think everyone does have a chance, just that some have more chance than others. We can actually have, you know, faction drop right here, but it's just a crap ammo. It's worth nothing. We can just go back to the mission hub. Uh, job well done for the Nurgle. Just really did not care at all. And, you know, you see that this system here, that the Heora system is, like, you know, the mission hub four jumps away. So it's, you know, obviously going to take a bit of time to actually get to that system. So maybe it could have been, you know, it would have maybe been like, you know, profitable to use an ascendancy uh, implant sit suit that makes me warp fast. But that increase to warp speed, I don't think is as good as the relaxation factor when it comes to doing these burn emissions. I think the Asclepian implants are a lot more fun. Or fun when it comes to like, making this a relaxing experience but if you want to not have a relaxing experience something else would obviously be something another type of implant set would be obviously better to use you know something i was actually thinking of adding to my uh, uh not only nurgle but maybe no, nurgle will be unnecessary but to my paladin actually would be one of these auto targeting systems because i mean these things is not going to be useful in that auto targeting is going to be needed in missions but maybe it would the, the main point is it gives me plus two just like that, plus two max lock targets. So that would actually be quite useful, actually. But, you know, they get that plus two extra lock targets, and sometimes in missions, there's a ton of stuff you need to kill. And it could be useful to be able to, uh, you know, lock up stuff even more. So that's actually, I think, a change I'll put due to my uh, paladin in due time, actually. It's just that uh, right now, the closest auto targeting system is not so. It's quite far away. See that? Four jumps away. Okay, not, not far away, but what I'm seeing is. I'm just here running missions, you know, I'm also kind of a courier agent. <laughs> Let's hand in the mission. Mission, well done. I think this is, I have, I'm so happy to go with this setup with the Asclepian implants and the Nuggle. Just absolutely amazing. So relaxing to do these burners, which actually usually are the, one of the more stressful missions you can do, in my opinion. But with Asclepians, it's just a walk in the park, an absolute walk in the park. Really glad that I decided to go with this. Maybe you guys who do burners should give this a go. Maybe you could get a little bit more relaxation out of your burner missioning activities. Maybe watch a few TV series in the background while you uh, do your burner missions. Uh, okay, I think that's enough for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video right here. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.